So I'm making this video uh, for my HOA, uh, who I don't expect to ever watch it, because <laughs> I live in a retirement community, and probably most of them don't even know what YouTube is. Um, but uh, we do have a finance committee, and uh, and it's amazing. I mean, when you think about it, they manage millions of dollars, and uh, so you know, I'm I'm deeply deeply concerned about Wells Fargo, and. Uh, and, you know, I've sent them links uh, that, you know, there's the credit card scandal. There's been so many uh, warning signs about Wells Fargo Bank. And my community has millions of dollars banked with uh, Wells Fargo. And I've complained about this in the past and was completely ignored. Did I, although they did respond and I give them credit for that. And uh, they, they just said, we don't see what your concern is. <laughs> And so I, you know, I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, you live in the community and you're just like, okay, well, all right, well, let's wait for the next big event. And uh, and so now there's a, another billion dollar scandal with uh, Wells Fargo. And so I'm reaching out to my HOA and this video is actually for my HOA. I'm going to, I'm going to post a link on their website uh, and say, watch my video and uh, whether they'll watch it or not, probably not. Uh, but I did send them other links to other videos and uh, and certainly to websites about what's going on with Wells Fargo. Now, okay, do you think Lehman Brothers didn't go down? No, no, Lehman Brothers could never die. Bear Stearns, Bear Stearns could never die. No, 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 these things can never happen. Yes, people, uh, you know, so I consider my community in jeopardy with uh, our financial association with Wells Fargo and, uh, and whether they'll listen to me or not, I doubt it. Um, you know, one thing that the young uh, in our nation, they will eventually get their revenge on the old people because <laughs> they're so entrenched in their, in their minds that, you know, Citibank, J.P. Morgan, uh, Wells Fargo, Bear Stearns, Lehman Brothers, none of these places can ever go bad. No, no. And of course, they're not into crypto, so they weren't affected by the, the recent, the recent uh, crypto crash. Oh my God, people lost billions of dollars. I mean, and, and we are heading for whew, a major financial uh, crisis as a country. But uh, So I just wanted to throw that out there. So um, yeah, if you want to check it out, there's... Uh, check out the Economic Ninja on uh, YouTube. Uh, he... He does a breakdown of everything that just took place with Wells Fargo and, and why you wouldn't, <laughs> you don't want to bank with Wells Fargo. And uh, so I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to reach out to them. Um, you know, where I think we should go as a community, uh, I would go with the local credit unions. I mean, why aren't we putting, well, at least hundreds of thousands of dollars into the local credit unions like Florida Credit Union. I do banking with them and they've been very good to me. Uh, I would I would start taking funds out of Wells Fargo and moving it into local credit unions, and I would diversify those funds. I mean, right now, I, I last time I looked at the balance sheet for my community, it's it's with just the major banks, uh, which is c supposedly considered a safe place to be. But I'm telling you right now, they're setting Wells Fargo up to be the next Lehman Brothers. They're going down. I'm 100% certain. Uh, within the next six months, you're not going to see a Wells Fargo bank. I mean, they, they're, they're, well, it, and my God, I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who the people are in charge of that bank, but they're the most corrupt people. If you're getting caught like this, I mean, think about all the stuff that goes on that you don't get caught for, because there really aren't any federal government people that really look for that sort of thing. You know, they, they pretend that they do. So if they're actually getting busted for this stuff, this means that the corruption must be beyond belief. I mean, there's no way in hell that, that Wells Fargo, I mean, gets caught for this stuff. So, I mean, it's, it, so either that or they're just, they want their scapegoat. You know, they, they want to hang a head on the, uh, on the, you know, just like in the, in the ancient times where they wanted to hang that head on the post and say, we got the bad guy and now you need to uh, uh, listen to Citibank or uh, JP Morgan or, um, uh, you know, whatever, the other big banks. So, um, but anyway, and that's what I'm telling you. Uh, I don't I don't know. Uh, I only get a few people that watch this channel. But I would tell you to diversify your funds, and I would scatter it out, and certainly don't keep more than 250000 
at any in at any banking institution, which is the the, the jeopardy that my community's in. We got millions at, at certain banking institutions. I mean, you're only FDI insured up to two hundred fifty thousand. I don't even. I, I don't think they understand that. They're they're, they're called the finance committee. <laughs> I mean, this, I, I I don't want to insult them. I just think that uh, they need to to rethink things and uh, and protect the community. And uh, and maybe you live in an a uh, community, and maybe you're on the finance committee, right? Uh, so and and as as even. The individual people that watch my channel uh, certainly keep your money. I mean, right now, I mean, God knows, I, I you know, thirty-five thousand is a lot of money to me. So I, you know, I keep it it different. I, you know, I like I bank with Navy Federal Credit Union, which we've got numbers of veterans in this community. I can't. Don't tell me that we can't bank with Pentagon Federal Credit Union, or which is where U.S. Congress banks, or we can't bank with Navy Federal Credit Union, or we can't bank with USAA. Or, uh, or or other financial institutions that I somewhat trust. I mean, I'm, USAA used to be just the gold stone, but now you know they've 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 kind of gone down a dark road too. Uh, I won't I won't say it, but I still do most of my banking there, uh, especially uh, my transactions. Anyway, that's it. Uh, check out the Economic Ninja. Um, he's on there, and uh, you gotta if you got your money in Wells Fargo. I mean, if you, but at the same time, I mean, do you want your funds to get frozen, which is what's going to happen, okay? So I don't care if you got 25000 250000 whatever, uh, you know, 250000 or less, you probably might get your money back with inflation, right? And we may hit hyperinflation. I, the money that you get back is going to be worth a lot less six months later. Do you want your funds frozen for six months? It's up to you. Peace out. Stay free. And it's great, great, great to live in the free, free, free state of Florida where we just went super republic. Uh, what is it called? A super majority, I think, in, in our uh, our uh, legislature. I love it. I love it. I love it. DeSantis rules. Oh, and as Trump calls him, uh, what was it? What was the word that he used? Uh, Ah, dang, got it. It's it's gonna stick. Ah, man, I I tell you, I can't think of it. All right, peace out. Stay free.